All right, so standing in Wuji, which is what, <laughs> what I'm doing right now. So the feet are more or less parallel and they're under the hips. If you look at your feet, you're going to have about a double hand width between the, well, I need to go a little bit wider. All right, between the big toes and the feet are more or less parallel. But with all stuff in Qigong and Tai Chi, we want to make sure that our body is comfortable. And so if putting the feet like this is a big issue, we'll adjust them so that everything is good. Well, also, we drift forward and we put weight on the toes. So this is the small triangle, the front of the foot. Big toe, little toe, heel. We put weight in the heels. This is the large triangle. Big toe, little toe, and heel. And when you're shifting the weight, you want to leave the feet firmly on the earth. So we're not lifting, we're not swinging forward and lifting up on the heels, nor are we going back and lifting up on the toes. That'd be kind of dangerous. We'd end up, lay, in my case, laying on my back or laying on my front as we lost our balance. So you want to keep things within the balance paradigm that works for you. So you put weight in the toes, you shift and you put weight in the toe, heels. So this is just a small movement. We grab the hips, push down with the thumbs, tuck the tailbone into the body, lift the belly button in, pull up the pelvic floor, lift the ribs so we create some space for the abdomen. We lift the chin, we gaze to the horizon. Take the top of the head and bring it up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. So we're lengthening our spine, creating some space between our vertebrae. Bring the hands up so they're about the same height as the elbows. Take them out to the side and bring the elbows towards each other. You're going to feel a stretch here at the top of the chest. And now bring the hands out, uh, drawing a giant beach ball in to the lower Dian Ten, the brass basin. It's just below the navel. So with some scooping palms, we're holding a beach ball against the lower navel, the, the lower abdomen below the navel. Inhale, we drift forward onto the toes. We gaze to the horizon. Exhale, we drift back into the heels. So we breathe in through the nose for a count of four. We breathe out through the nose for a count of four. So inhaling, exhale. On the inhale, we drift forward a tiny bit. And on the exhale, we drift back a tiny bit. Inhaling, and exhale. So we'll do two more like this. Inhale, we drift forward. Exhale, we drift back. And one more breath. And we let the arms relax. So that was our standing posture, holding the golden G ball. That's the one that we do in the fall. And there's a different one for each season. But now we're going to do our three-part breath. So we're going to working, working on nice, deep breathing, bringing lots of chi into the body. So we start here, expanding the abdomen in all directions. Inhale. So a nice, deep breath. And then we do two short, sharp sips. So it's like, and we're adding a little bit more air, a little bit more volume on top of what's already been added to the body. And so we're looking to expand the ribs, the ribs, the lungs inside the ribs a little bit more, helping to open up any collapsed air sacs so we can increase the lung capacity that we have today. So a couple more times. Inhale. Two more like this. <coughs> and 
then a cough means that you've actually had some of those collapsed air sacs open up and it created a bit of a vibration in the lungs and a cough results. So two more. All right, so that was holding the golden chi ball and then our three-part breath. And now we're moving into our warm-up series and we're going to start with shaking the nine gates. Our hands are wet. Shake the water off the hands so you get the elbows, wrists, and shoulders going. Add in the hips, the knees, and the ankles. Inhale here. Exhale as we turn and look over the shoulder. Inhaling. Exhale. So we breathe in through the nose, we breathe out through the nose, breathe in when we're facing forward. Exhale as we twist to the side. Inhaling, exhale. Two more like this. Last one. Last side. And we're back to the front. And next we're looking at our warm-up series. So we're starting with the arms going forward and back. So it's in and we do nine repetitions. So one, two, three. And now we add the knees into this, so you lower down. Inhale, we come up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now next is dragon waves wings. So the hands are out here to the side, and they cross in front. And that's one. One more like this, hands in front, the other hand in front. So, dragon shakes wings. Next is dragon shakes whiskers. So for this, we tap the hips, turn the head, look behind. One more like this. And now, cleaning the dragon's whiskers. Tap the hollow between the shoulder and the ribs. The other back of the hand comes to the kidney. Turn the head, look over the shoulder. One more, this side, the other side. We're back to the front, and now it's the flinging sleeves. So we start with the hands low in front. We turn 
and we point behind. So from the side, here's what's going on behind us. So the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder, all in a straight line. And we come around and we do it on the opposite side as well. So that's what's happening behind us. So here we go. Down in front, up in back. Turn the head, look to the thumb behind. And we come on back to the front. Now we're going to, we have a side body stretch to do here to sort of stretch this side of the body. And we're going to be in a different stance here. So this is the stack of bone stance. So this leg straight, this knee bent, the hips over the ankle. And we come over here and the same thing's happening. We may need to make it a little wider, a little narrower, whatever, so that we end up here. And so this gives us some side to side stability. So for this guy, we make a triangle. Thumb and first finger touch each other. We come around like this. We bring the hands up. The one that came from this side pushes to the heavens. The other one that was the leading hand comes down, pushes to the horizon. And we bring both hands towards the horizon, lengthening this side of the body. And then inhale. We shift. Put all the weight on this leg. Push up and reach for the horizon. Inhale. Exhale. It's called looking through the lion's mouth. And we're looking to stretch the side of the body that has all the weights. So we're pushing the elbow to the heavens and then stretching to the horizon. Inhale. Exhale. And I'll do one more cycle. And that starts here. Last side, coming up. And we come on down. All right, so that was the warm up series. And now, we're going to pull down the heavens and then move into our featured practice series for today. So inhale, gather the chi from the earth, look to the right hand. Rotate to the opposite side, look to the left hand. Exhale, draw the chi down from the heavens in to the brass basin. So inhaling. Exhale. All right, and now the North Woodside Community Center series of Qigong movements. So this is a series that I put together for a class that I'm teaching at the North Woodside Community Center. And we already did Shaking the Nine Gates a few minutes ago as part of the warm-up. And now we're going to do Standing on a Boat, two versions of this guy. So we're standing back in our narrow stance here. Remember that double hand width between the feet. Weight in the toes, weight in the heels, pull the belly button in, lift the ribs. So we're standing, you know, well grounded and with good alignment here. So standing on a boat, put weight in the toes, lift the ribs. This is the dragon's back. Lift the arms, let them rise up about shoulder height. Exhale, weight in the heels, drop the ribs, rounding the back. 
So inhale, dragon's back as we lift the ribs. Exhale, turtle back as we drop the ribs. We look to the earth. So inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. And typically, we'll do nine repetitions of these. Sometimes I lose count. And most times I lose count. We'll do one more like this. And now we'll do the more vigorous version here. And so we start with the back. Uh, I'll demonstrate from the side. So we start here like so. So a big turtle back here. Inhale, turn the palms up, bring the shoulder blades together. We've got a dragon's back. We look to the heavens. Exhale, look to the earth with a big turtle back. Inhaling, bring the shoulder blades together. Exhale. Inhale, lift the ribs, look to the heavens. Exhale, drop the ribs, look to the earth. Inhaling, weight in the toes. Exhale, weight in the heels. Inhale, small triangle. Exhale, large triangle. So one more. All right. So that was two versions of standing on a boat. Next is Phoenix ascends the flame. So let me just demonstrate from the side again. What we're looking to do is lower the hips. We're not looking to bend over. So you want to do a squat as you're comfortable. And if that's here, that's fine. And if it's down further, well, that's great too. It's wherever your body is comfortable. So it's inhale. We gather the chi from the earth. We draw it up. Lift the ribs, lift the chin, look to the heavens. And then exhale, we draw that chi in to the lower dianten, just below the navel. So inhale, gathering the chi from the earth. Shoulder blades together. Exhale, drab that giant beach ball and draw it in below the navel. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, gaze to the horizon. Exhale, we look to the earth. Inhaling. Exhale. Two more. Last one like this. All right, so the series I put together it works on, we're working on improving balance as well as you know, strengthening the lower back as well. So this next one is White Crane Spreads Wings and it's a static balance posture, which means We've got all the weight on one foot and the other one's just there to provide a bit of balance. So we're here like this and we're going to put all the weight on this leg. Now white crane spreads wings. The leg's got all the weight. That hand's going to push back. The leg that's got no weight, that hand's going to be up here. And we're going to bring the shoulder blades together, pull the belly button in. And this foot reaches forward and we just lightly touch the earth. This is known as a false step or a cat's paw. And so all the weights on this leg here. So we bring the shoulder blades together, 
and we just lightly touch the earth. So you could do this sort of thing and go like, yeah, we're good. Now bring the foot back in. The high hand comes down. It's the low hand now. The other hand comes up. All the weights on this leg and we dot with this guy. So bring the hands towards the body, the elbows out to the side, bring the shoulder blades together. And once again, this foot just has a little bit of weight to provide balance. We look to the horizon. Inhale. Exhale. And we change. Inhale. Exhale. We'll do one more breath here. And we change sides. Inhale. Bring the shoulder blades together. Bring the hands in towards the center of the body. Exhale. Whoops. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Other side. Yeah, we go with the left foot forward. And we'll do one more cycle. So we begin here. This foot just lightly touching. Bring the shoulder blades together. Last side. And we come on down. So that was white crane spreads wings. Next is monkey leaps from a tree. So for this guy, the monkey's hanging on to a tree branch. The heels are off the earth. And we're going to let go, and we're going to land on the ground. So it's inhale here. Exhale, we come on down. Bring the heels down. We lower as we're comfortable. Inhale, we come back up, hanging on to the branch. Exhale. And having a look from the side. So we just land it. Inhale, we come up, holding on to the branch, the toes just barely touching the branch below. And then we let go of the upper branch and we land on the ground. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Lift the heels, lift the gaze, hold the branch. Exhale, we let go, we land on the ground. Inhale. Exhale, and we lower the hips, we're not bending over. So you lower as much as you're comfortable. Exhale. Inhale. So dragon's back. A turtle back. Inhale. Weight in the toes. Weight in the heels. So we'll do two more like this. All right, and I have to remember to stop. So that was monkey leaps from a tree. Next is snake rises out of the grass. And so for this guy, we start with the back of the hands together. So we have a turtle back here. Inhale, bring the palms, the scooping palms to the kidneys. Lift the ribs, look to the heavens. 
And then with that dragon's back, bring the hands around down the back of the hands against the inside of the legs. The palms are here. We look back through the legs. And palms to the legs on the way up. Exhale. So I haven't looked from the side. So inhale. Gathering the chi, bringing it to the kidneys. Stretch the front to the body. And then exhale with a dragon's back. Back of the hands against the legs. So the back of the hands and the elbows touching the legs. Look back. Inhale, we come up. Exhale. So inhaling. Exhale. Inhale, we gather the chi, bring it around to the kidneys. Exhale. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. So two more like this. And last one of these. So the next one is white crane stands on one leg. And we're going to do various things with the hands as well. So we're here like this. And so we're standing on one leg. We could lift this foot up or you could have it just touch the earth. And we have the crane has wings. And so we have three position for the feathers at the end of the wings. So the palms face up to the heavens. Palms face out palms point down and so we're going to do those three a couple breaths for each one so we're here and of course we have to change legs as well so we start here like so and if balance works for you you can hold the knee up in the air or you can just lightly touch the toe inhale exhale one more breath. And then we bring the arms down. We shift the weight over here. Dot with this guy. Bring the hands up like so. Pull the belly button in. Look to the horizon. Inhale. Exhale. So I'm doing it for two breaths. You could do one, three, whatever number seems right for you. And now, pushing the palms out. So white crane stands on one leg. So here we go, the one leg. And now get the wings out with the feathers pointing up and the palms pointing out to the side. So inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. We come on down. We change size. So this leg's gonna have all the weight. Like a good crane, we're standing on one leg. Inhale. Push to the horizon. Fingers pointing up. One more breath. And now you bring the fingers and the thumbs together like this with a crane's beak and we're going to point down to the earth. 
to finish up white crane stands on one leg. So we're here and fingers and thumbs together we point down either dot with the toe so you have just minimal weight here or lift it up and if it helps you can put it against the other leg one more breath here right, come on down shift the weight so check the toes check the heels you want to have weight in both places dot or lift inhale exhale one more breath and we come on down so that was white crane stands on one leg next is embracing the sun and the moon so for this guy we're in that stack of bones stance again from way back at the beginning so we're here hip knee ankle all in the pile so the ribs the hips the knee the ankle that's the stack of bones this leg is straight and out to the side this leg the knee is bent and we're keeping the hip over the ankle and we want to see that the same thing happens here you want to have the feet more or less parallel the knees slightly bent all that stuff and when we come over here we're going to lift the heel of the foot behind us and turn it and bend the knee so that the sole of the foot is pointing away and that lets us face this way and then we come down we come over here lift the heel so the sole of the foot points away and we're looking here to the horizon now we're playing with a ball here so we're holding the ball we shift the weight we bring the hands up the leg that has all the weight that hands on top we come down to the center circle the ball inhale lift that heel behind us let the ball rise up exhale come on down inhale exhale inhale we lift the ribs we look to the horizon exhale so the leg that has all the weight that hands on top side by side we shift the weight the other hands on top exhale inhale exhale We'll do two more cycles like this. Last cycle. And we come on back to the center and we're done with that one. Next is white crane points to the seven stars. We got a bunch of white cranes in this series. So the seven stars are over there to the side and slightly behind us. And the white crane and the seven stars are really, you know, they're, they're the big dipper. And so it's like, look, there's the seven stars. And of course we're a crane, so we're gonna be on one leg. Now this is a much more challenging balance position because we have the hands here to the side and we're turning the torso towards the back and we're lifting this guy up as well ultimately after doing this for an extended period of time your balance is going to be so excellent and the twisting in the torso so easy that you're going to be able to put this elbow and that knee this knee one to to the other while staying standing tall there's no scrunching over to get the elbow on the knee but that's just the path, that's the end of the path. And so it's more important to be on the journey. So we're here like so, dot or lift. 
And so here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Come down to the center. We shift the weight. But we point the seven stairs are over here too. Look at that. And one leg. So lifting or touching with the toe, whatever's working today. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Back to the first side. So we got a bit of a twist going on. Both hands, palms up, pointing to the seven stars. We're looking at the palm of the upper hand and off into the distance. So either dot with the toe or lift the knee, whichever's working today. One more breath. And we come on down now, the other side. One more breath. And we'll do once more on each side. And over to the other side. And we come on back to the center. So that was White Crane points to seven stars. Next is Gad the Clouds to make a jade pillow. So for this guy, jade pillow, here the base of the skull is a little bump that sticks down and that's the jade pillow so we're going to cover that with our hands so we're, we're going to do this sort of thing cover the base of the skull with the two hands bring the shoulder blades together and look up to the heavens so we're taking the elbows wide and then we do some other interesting stuff so here we go inhale lift the ribs look to the heavens shoulder blades together and then exhale, bring the elbows forward, lowering down. Inhale, we come up. And exhale. Looking from the side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, we gather the chi from the heavens. Exhale. Front. So inhale, we gather the chi. Elbows go wide, shoulder blades, lift the ribs, look to the heavens. We're not pulling on the head as we lower down. Inhale, we come up. And it's not necessary to put the elbows on the knees. Again, you honor your body and the limitations it brought to the practice today. And you go as far as the body is comfortable. And if that's here, that's great. Inhale. And exhale. All right. So that was return to fetal. No, that was gather the clouds to make a jade piddle. pillow. And next is return to fetal position. So for this guy. We have a different hand position here. 
So you fold the fingers down, you catch the fingernails with the thumb. So I have a hollow, a hollow fist here. It's known as a robin's egg fist, so put a robin's egg in your fist and don't squish it. And so, return to fetal position. So we're here, catch the, th the thumb catches the fingernails. So we gathered some chi into the robin's egg fist. Bring the back of the hands to the kidneys. We come around, wrists come together, elbows come together. We lower down, elbows to knees, head to wrists. And then inhale, we come up, circling the abdomen. Exhale, drop the chi in to the brass basin. So inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhale, and once again. For this one, we're looking to keep the shoulders and the head above the hips. So as we lower down, we're squatting, not bending over. Inhale. Exhale. So we'll do three more. Inhale, we come up, exhale. Last one. And so that was return to fetal position. Next, we're back to another balancing one here, but it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with cranes. It's got to do with fish in a barrel. This is known as gathering fish from a barrel. And the fish are this thigh and this thigh. And so that we alternate on which fish we're going to pick up out of the barrel. And I like to turn a little bit to the side so I know which leg I'm heading for. So I'm turning this way. It's this leg is the fish. So all the weights on this foot, this one is going to be lifting up. So it's got just a little bit of weight for balance. So it's inhale. We gather the fish from the barrel and we lift it up. We bring it down and we go to the other side. So this is going to be the fish this time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, back to the first. Sometimes balance works. Sometimes it doesn't. Other side. So inhale, we get the fish. And exhale, we hold the fish up. Now we go to the other side. So inhale, pick up the fish. Exhale, we hold the fish up. Inhale. Exhale. So one more cycle. This side. And the other side. And we come on down. We have one more series, one more movement to go, exercise to go. And this is Golden Rooster stands on one leg. And so for this guy, we're going to start by lifting this leg up. So this one stays on the ground. This hand pushes down to the earth, anchoring this side of the body. This hand edge on. The wrist and the knee are somewhat attached together. I'm going to bring the wrist up. And at the same time, the knee is going to come up 
as well. And it may be that today you need to touch with the toe. And so golden rooster stands on one leg. So anchor this one, push down, inhale, we lift up, exhale. Anchor that leg, inhale, we come up. Inhale. Inhale, we lift. Exhale. Anchor it. Inhale, lift the knee. Golden rooster stands on one leg. Other side. Oops. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, we set up. Exhale. Inhale. And we'll do one more cycle. And that starts over here. So anchor this leg. Lift this knee. And we go to this side. So anchoring this one all the way. Check the heel and the toe that were centered over the foot. We come up. And we come on down. So that was the end of the North Woodside Community Center series. So let's pull down the heavens. So inhale. And exhale. Once more. All right, so now we're going to look at the healing sound part of today. And, you know, as we said way back at the beginning, this is the uh, fall season, the color is white. The uh, meridian systems that we're working with are the lung and the large intestine. And the healing sound is... H-I-S. And so think of it as a snake and you're hissing about the snake. Now. There's a hand movement to go with the healing sound. And we make an L. So fold the three fingers in, and, you ha and these are, happens to be the lung ends on the thumb. And the large intestine begins on the finger. The lung starts up here at the shoulder, travels down the inside of the arms, and finishes on the thumb. The large intestine, the other meridian for this season, starts on the finger. The first finger comes up the outside of the arm, up to the shoulder, drops down to the shoulder blade for a moment, then comes up the side of the face and finishes next to the nose, the nostril, on the opposite side of the face. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to make both hands, so fold three fingers down, inhale, yes. Looking from the side, we do it two more times. Yes. Yes. Once more. Yes. So it's a bunch of uh, imagery going on here. We're visualizing, we're drawing in fresh chi, so we're inhaling nice, clean, white, fresh, sparkling chi, and we're bringing it into the lungs, and the lungs are kind of full of grubby, unky junk, and we're looking to get rid of that. So on the exhale, we're taking all that waste chi, that spoiled chi, that stagnant chi, 
that's kind of gray, kind of black, and we're expelling it out through our mouth off into the distance. And so that we end up with nice, fresh, clean chi in our lungs. So let's, with those thoughts in mind, that visualization going on, here we go. Yes. Inhale. Yes. Yes. Now, if we got some issues with the lungs, a bit congested, you know, got a bit of a flu going on, something like that, there's a, there is a movement that will help with that, and it fits into this healing sound category. And what you do is you make a light fist and you come up here and there's a hollow between the shoulder and the ribs. So right here. And this is where the lung meridian starts. And what we're looking to do is knock on the door three times. So you go bang. You don't want to cause bruising, but you want to be firm enough that when you do this, you can feel it down here in the bottom of the lungs. And so we bring this hand up, we twist a little bit, bring the other hand up, twist a little bit, and we tap. <coughs> it's difficult to tap to talk while you're tapping away here. So let's do a few repetitions of this. So inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now let's add the healing sound to this. Now you have a choice when you're doing this to include the healing sound or just do it with normal breathing as well. Find out which one seems to be the most effective for today and go with that one. So we'll do one more repetition. Two more cycles. Last cycle. And we're back to the front. And now we're pretty much out of time, so we're going to be doing our wrap up for today with our five direction meditation. And we need to be in our stack of bones stance like we were a while ago. Ribs, hip, knee, ankle, all in a pile. Same thing happening over here. So this is the stack of bones. We have a bit of a side-to-side -side movement as part of the five directions, so we start here. Inhale, weight on the toes, we advance. Exhale, weight in the heels, we retreat. Inhale, move to the side, we look to the left. Exhale, we come down to the hip. Inhale, we look to the right. Exhale, down to the hip. And then we stay in the center. Inhale. Exhale, coming all the way down. So all of these other ones, it was inhale for four, exhale for four. This last one, it's inhale for four, exhale for eight, because we have a long way to go all the way down here. So here we go. Inhale, the red phoenix, straight ahead. Exhale, the dark blue black turtle behind. Inhale, the green dragon to the left. Inhale, the silver gray tiger to the right. Inhaling. And the yellow center. So early summer, straight ahead. Winter behind. 
spring to the left, fall to the right. In late summer, in the center, So inhaling, blossoming in the early summer, storage in winter, sprouting in the spring, harvesting in the fall, fruiting in late summer. So one more cycle. That's it for today.